Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to take a moment and see if I can bring out some points that would identify some of the reasons that are common amongst most of us as to why we believe in a higher deity or not. And this information perhaps could have settled a question that might, you know, reign in the mind of most of us again. And in any event, just by listening and sharing, perhaps we could bring a little clarity to our own lives. I was taught that there was a superior being. I was taught that. And I look at that as theory, you know, being given information. But somewhere along in my life, I received evidence. And it brought me to an awareness that this whole life situation is supposed to be different based upon that experience, these experiences that I'm mentioning to you that you should be kind to everybody. That means everybody's being kind. That you should treat people like you want to be treated. That means that we're all satisfied because we're giving ourselves the best treatment and it's coming to us, from us. And then I'm looking at the provider of all of the ingredients, all of the substance of this peace prosperous and joyous living as being something that's given and it just seems to me that the only thing that keep us from experiencing this is that we choose to not apply the basic principles that would produce this and I say that because as I look in the society in which I live these things don't happen and yet, as I have just spoken them to you, I've spoken them most of my adult life, looking out, trying to see if I could inspire somebody or get somebody to come out of the closet and identify their position as being such as this. And in all of the years I've tried, I have never, I admit to you, I've never, ever ran across another individual that could say that these are some of the things that they themselves dream and hope for. But not only that, are willing to stand and give representation to. Now, I know a lot of people. I'm a social scientist. And I've been out here a lot of years. And I never met another individual on earth. Now, I've read about some. But I have never met. Nor, not only have I not met. I haven't heard anybody speaking. But then again, that could be for the same reason that they haven't heard me. Their voice is silenced when it comes to mass communication, as is mine. So I must confess, I know that there are others. <laughs> I'd be a fool to think that I am the only one. Be that as it may, the only way the only way that truth can continue to stand is when it has some representation. It doesn't die, but without representation, it's null and void. And I say to you, you, the people, can give as much life to truth as you give to a lie. I realize that the lie is spread like wildfire. It's just ranging all over the place. And it seems like there's not enough water anywhere to put it out. And to see the fire blazing from that lie. And to think that a drop of rain represented as truth would do anything, would do anything to stop this fire. No, for sure. When the heat gets to that drop of rain, it would just evaporate, turn into gas, and float away. Like you, when you jump into the fire, 
standing up and giving a representation of truth. And the magnificence, the magnificence of such an act as this. Wherein this happened, there is no doubt to the doer, to the duty, there is no doubt of what such a woman represents. No doubt at all. No doubt at all. Now that is the greatest seed that can be planted. And what is the greatest reward as far as we know? Well, for me, it's like paradise. Wherever. I'm not trying to go to a heaven. I want heaven to be wherever I am. And I believe that's the way it's supposed to be. And I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that I believe beyond doubt that walking in the spirit puts one in a state of having in that spiritually, mentally. Now their physical surroundings might not appear to be heavenly to others, but to such a one it is. And yet, part of that is brought about because of compassion and concern that can be seen for one another and is magnified by the action that is taken. So I was taught this. Now most folks, as I see it, believe that things are wrong, hell you can't change it, so just try to find yourself a spot in it and ride this boat for invitation. I don't I don't, but the choice is yours. Bye-bye.